I'm here with inventor Wyatt White, and today Wyatt has some great ideas for how to make your beading easier. Welcome, Wyatt. Thank you. It's good sure. to be back. It's great to have you. Thanks. So let's get started. Show us what you were going to do first. Okay. Um, getting beads onto uh, the stringing part and strung takes some time sometimes. You can use uh, a nice long needle like this that's got a little curve in the end and one on the back and you design your design actually on the needle. On the needle. Right. Smart. So as you can see we have a bunch of different ideas on how to do that. Uh, the instructions are going to show this one so we through the magic of television and speed we're able to have this was this is the design that we did and you can measure it once you once you have it um, all on there okay. and then I've, I have a little uh, stopper on the end so that they don't slide off so you could make a bunch of these oh, that's and clever. then do all the this would be great afterwards. for a bracelet making party. Yes, definitely. So you just take that off and you take out some, I like, there's um, there's several different types of uh, stretchy cords. I like this one, it's a multi-strand. And what that does is it, it allows you to see when it starts to break. You'll see some, some um, yes. yeah, some splintering. Mm -hmm. And that tells you you need to restring it. Okay. So we've got this all on here and you just hook it on, just like so. And then you very easily slide these beads off of the um, needle right onto the nice. stringing material. And so if you weren't making a bracelet, you could string on half of your necklace, unhook, string the rest on here, rehook, and then you can do a necklace oh, as well. Oh, okay. So it, it just makes the stringing portion go much faster. That's clever. Uh, and then you just, um, for the ends, you just bring them together and tie the recommended knot based on the stringing material that you're using. This okay. fibrous material, you can tie what's called a surgeon's knot, a single knot and then a double knot on top of it and pull it nice and tight. Sounds good. Some of the others have their own um, knots that they show on the package, so it's, it, it makes it very easy. So we'll just do this very quickly. Going to tie a knot. And then we're going to tie the surgeon's knot, which is through once and through the second time. And pull tight. Super easy. Cut. And then pull that knot into the bead. Okay. All right, so what's next? That's, that makes it super easy. So now, for kumihimo artists and people that need to get a zillion seed beads onto um, stringing material, this has been around for years and years and years, and there's many of them on the market. Um, so you just take the stringing material, String it through one of these um, needles that's open all the way. And this one needs to be curved because you're going to be, uh, the opportunity of the holes in the beads are going to snatch on to this as it's spinning. Right. So you just, just bring this in here and don't put the end down into the bowl so this touches. And you can put on a certain amount of beads. Okay. Now you have the ability to change this color nice. very quickly. So I if you want this. many different types of, of seed beads and sizes and things like that, you can bring this up. You can measure off how much you need for your specific pattern and then flip on another one with a different color in this it. This is so clever. Yeah, it's really a lot of fun too and people people just go crazy for it. So you can get thousands of beads on very, very quickly. Okay, let's take a look at our third tip. All right, so this involves, um, needs some wire. Sure. This, this is where, when we're wire wrapping, uh, speed is really the only way you can make more money or more more stuff with the same given amount of time. And you invented this tool, right? I did. I did. It's it's been a long time coming, but we finally got it going. Anyway, the the round nose, uh, you hold it so that you're looking at the round nose in your face, and then this is away from you. Okay. You just hold it like a regular, and you grab this, bend this, bring this around. Just like that. And then instead of putting down a tool and picking up another tool, you grasp here and then just do the wire wrap here. That does make it so much faster. And then you cut this, cut this, add a bead. And doing the other side is the same way without putting anything down and picking anything up. Bring this down and you're looking at it like so. We'll do it for the camera this time. So that would be uh, you looking at it and you just bend this, bring this around, adjust. And then this would come over to here and you just wrap this around. 
That's amazing. Wyatt has one more technique to show us. This is beautiful, Wyatt. Thank you. It's relatively easy. You just have to follow some rules. Okay. Uh, and you just start out with, uh, I, I like to use 19 strand wire because the wire has some properties that allows you to be able to um, string it back through the bead. It has a little more body. And tighten it, and it will, it will hold that tighten because it's not as flexible. Okay. So you just take basically about a um, two and a half foot piece, fold back about nine inches, and you're gonna string it, uh, string the nine inches through a, a crimp okay. into a clasp, back through the crimp, and then take and crimp that. Uh, then you're gonna put on about, I think it's about 13 beads, about two and a half inches. Okay. Um, and those, you need to put um, the wire through, uh, both wires through it. Okay. Okay, so um, this actually has been crimped just a little bit long, but we're okay. So then onto the long strand, you're gonna string one of these um, types of, of beads that has a point on either side. Uh, they. They are, I believe they're called um, pendant beads, uh, but all different kinds of, of you beads will work for it. You could use a real you could use right. any top any of drill. Those, any top bead. drill, exactly. Okay. So um, now, the, the technique that I figured out is how to keep the beads spiraling. Cool. And I put on my big boy glasses because things are getting harder for me to see. Do those have your prescription? They do. They have oh, the nice. prescription right in it. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, and then they've got a light beam, which is really great too. So you're going to take the long strand and you're going to go underneath. We're going to call this the lead wire. Okay. Go underneath the wire and then back through the, um, the top drill. Okay. And you want to pull this down nice and tight and then just pull that loop down until it's locked in. Locked in, just like that. And you want the lead wire going, coming from underneath and coming out the top. Okay. So you're gonna throw on another bead. And this is where these points just happen to work for this technique very, very easily because the points are what's gonna keep the beads continuing to spiral. Makes sense. So again, if you'll go underneath the lead wire and then through that bead, Pull this up, and you've got to kind of pull both of these to pull that in, in, um, in nice and tight so that those two points are being have. Okay. And pull nice and tight, and get this, and make sure that they're over there, nice. and pull that down nice and tight just like that. So, and you keep doing that until you've got um, a nice group on here. And then on the other side, you'll take both of the strands, go back through, Come down here, and I've used um, a larger uh, diameter of crimp bead down here because I've got the long strand coming through and going back up. That's this one. And then the shorter strand is just coming straight out. So you want to be able to crimp all three of those wires inside of this crimp bead. And you want to get this down. Uh, match it about to the other side. You don't want this too tight because you want to be able to wanna have, it get, have some natural movement. And then very carefully come in with your crimp pliers. Um, because I used the large one, I need to use the large uh, plier as well. And then just crimp it one way and then crimp the other way. And then come in with some good flush cutters and pull this down and snip. You're good. And pull this one down and snip. And that, we have the instructions for that one um, on Perfect. the Beats, Balls and Jewels website. Let's take a look at the pink one. That is so pretty. So yeah. that would be if you spire the whole entire length. You just spire the entire length. You just start out and you just keep going and it stays in the spiral and it just, I think it's just got the razzle dazzle that people want. And it doesn't take too long. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Wyatt.